This time we actually got to see people working on set. And it was, it was fascinating to, to see these people working with the models and working with the designers and taking the instruction and listening to the hair people and how they behaved in that movie. I haven't bronzed you. Maxie has a sense of imagination and invention that really could take him so far if he would just get the hell out of his way. He is, like, like so many people, um, he truly is his own worst enemy. And you know, and you can dig your heels in and say, well, if, you know, if, if, if people don't want to work with me, they don't, or there's the last time I ever do a fashion show, or blah, blah, blah. That's, that's just childishness, even at his age, which he wouldn't tell us. But we're talking about you know, living arts or pop culture arts. They're all about collaboration. With, with Maxi, everybody was in his way. Oh my God, watch her face. I got the sense from the beginning that this really was going to be about Nolan and Maxi. Seeing Nolan backstage working on a show, he was in heaven. It wasn't about this was the last episode or this was the finale or oh my God, I can win $100,000. This was somebody given the chance to be exactly where he wanted to be. He was so happy to be there. And consequently, the designers were happy to be with him. The models love to work with him. This is what you want on a set. He won the first round, he won the second round. The third one was a stumble. The third one wasn't great. He tried something, he risked it, which we tell everybody to do, and it didn't come through. But what carried him over, what carried him over was that the, the unmistakable joy that he had being a makeup artist in the place where he wanted to be. And that's exactly what you're looking for.